In chapter two of the course, we'll be taking a closer look at Reason's devices. Now, we won't have time to go in depth into all of the devices, but I hope to give you an overview of how they all work. I encourage you to explore the manuals, play around with the synths, and of course, check out the other videos under the propeller head section at macprovideo.com. We're going to start our look at the devices with instruments, and we'll start there with the subtractor. I'm going to control click or right click on the folder to initialize the patch. And now we'll get a brand new patch in the subtractor. And let me describe what we've got here. It's basically a subtractive synth, which is a synthesizer where you specify waveforms and then you carve away and modify those waveforms. In subtractor, we have two oscillators plus a noise oscillator. We have two filters. We have several envelopes which can shape the sound in the filters and a variety of other techniques to shape our sound. So starting with the oscillator, we choose a waveform. This is a triangle wave. We can specify the octave and the pitch of that waveform. And then there's an option for phase, which lets you create a copy of the waveform, multiply them together or subtract them, or don't make a copy. And the phase knob determines the amount of phasing. That gives you some nice sound shaping possibilities. Of course, there's a second oscillator that you can do the same things with. We'll use a square wave. And of course, we can mix the two oscillators with the mix knob over here. We can also add in FM synthesis, which is where oscillator two will modify oscillator one. And we can dial in different amounts of that. And there's even a ring modulator. There's a noise oscillator that you can turn on or off and control some parameters of. And then we get to the filters. There are two filters which can be linked together, which shape the sound. You can use a high pass or low pass filter or a band pass or notch filter. Each filter has a slightly different quality. And don't forget all of these controls can be automated in Reason. Next, we have the amplitude envelope, which shapes the way the sound builds over time. Let's add a fast attack, decay fairly quickly, a long sustain, and give it some time to release. We also have an envelope that can control the shape of the filter, how the filter is instigated over time. We can dial in how much the envelope affects the filter and we can invert the filter. And finally, there's a modulator envelope which lets you modify a variety of parameters such as pitch, the FM synthesis, the phase, the frequency of the second filter, and so forth. Two LFOs. An LFO is a low frequency oscillator. It's just like these oscillators up here, except because it's low frequency, it's not used to make sound. It's used to control other parameters. So right now we're controlling the frequency of the filter. And we can dial in the amount and the rate of that LFO. And of course, sync it to tempo. And here's a second filter. We're using this to control the pitch of the oscillators. There's this velocity section over here, which lets me affect different parameters by how hard I press my keys. I can affect the amplitude of the sound, the frequency of the filters, and other parameters. And then finally, over here, we can use the mod wheel to control different parameters. We can use things like aftertouch, expression, or breath controllers, MIDI controller information to control a variety of parameters. We can set the polyphony, how many notes can sound at once, and we can dial in portamento, or sliding between notes. And that's the subtractor.